He's Who brought walking. the cat? He's walking to the three. <laughs> He's at the two. And the cat is in the CDW red zone. CDW, people who get it now, a policeman, a state trooper has come on the field, and the cat runs into the end zone. That is a touchdown. And the cat is elusive, kind of like Barkley and Elliott. But he didn't know where to go. Look at they're trying to corner him, and they got him in the end zone. There are state troopers all around this cat, which now climbs up into the stands. And the fans are running for their life. Now it goes back on the field again. And it's running in the back of the end zone. And it runs up the tunnel. And Gignac involved in springing a counterattack. Well, there's a, a cat on the field. Gignac managing to ignore the uh, rampaging feline. And I think in the end, it did have an effect. That was well timed by that Moggy, wasn't it? it? Really was. It was a great overlap by the cat. Just went round Gignac as though he wasn't there. Just wanted to be laid in. <laughs> yeah, just just by a whisker. <laughs> Little mode. He just carried on for a second. He had catchy. Got a touch on the ball there, didn't he? Look at that. Somebody brought their cat, and it's run on the field. Now, you might remember one of the most classic <laughs> bloopers in history with the Mariners here. And a member of the Mariners' grounds crew trying to catch a kitten. And maybe you've seen the highlight, maybe you haven't, but went out there, picked up what looked like a little harmless kitten. And as he was carrying it in, the kitten scratched him and bit him. Hilarious. So who is gonna chase down this cat? It won't it wouldn't be me. <laughs> it just wants a way out. That's <laughs> just show me a way out. I can I'll leave. <laughs> That's a good sized cat too. <laughs> Showing its teeth. I think it's wondering when, it, when the cat jumped in the stands and ran across a couple of other people. I've in the seen stands. that one too. <laughs> Nobody really wants this job. I think if it opens, the, if they open the gate, I think it'll run in the gate. There you go. Can't beat fun at the old ballpark. <laughs> There's a cat on the field, Jim. They <laughs> say it's, it's Halloween season. <laughs> Incomplete. Hold on. That's what I want to see. Tell you the so look, look at this, Jim. This is like how you ran in high school. Look exactly. at that. Perfect form. Extension. I mean, and doesn't even get phased that there's people around. Just look, ooh, look at the change of direction. Does he get both feet in right here at the end, Jim? Well, he turns He's it up hill. <laughs> ooh. That's way too much fun at this point. Well, there's an intruder on the field. <laughs> Run the whole length of the field. Excellent pace. Great agility. done uh, that wasn't the way no that wasn't the way to go it's like a streaker in football but it's, it's the cat. I think the cat's gonna win I just have a feeling and he has 
Kan. Vidare man så. Ja, oh no. Superstition has struck in Penrith with a unique kind of streaker on the field during the Panthers' clash against the Sharks. Well, there it is. Is it a panther? The mini panther. Have a look at it. Maybe that's a superstition thing. They're looking for 13 straight, the Sharks, and the black cat turns up. Conspiracy theory here at Penrith. However, the mini intruder couldn't deter the ladder leaders from charging towards their 13th straight victory. Teams become aware of that now. <laughs> As we see the Panther. The well, he may, he may be best on ground for the Panthers today. <laughs> no disrespect. He's got a nice step. About the only thing that can stop the Marlins right now is a cat in center field desperately looking for a way out of here. Yeah, I, I, I feel like that sometimes. Easy there, G. <laughs> now Stanton is going to knock on the door. Yeah. Don't, no, don't pick that up. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh-oh. Don't do it. Oh. Now the cat is going to have to take a lap. There's no way out over there, right? Hey. Nope. This brings up, remember I told you that that night in the Kingdom, long, long time mm -hmm. ago, where the usher tried to pick up. Oh, oh my. wow. What? Oh, I don't know. Where is that cat going to go from there, though? <laughs> He's thinking about it. Yeah, there was a, a cat in the kingdom, and one of the security guys, look at this cat, terrific stuff by the cat. <laughs> Outstanding. Oh, my. <laughs> he has scaled, look at this. He has scaled the uh, home run sculpture. And, and now the cat, the cat's mind has to be blown, right? I mean, he's looking up, and he sees <laughs> look flamingos. He sees. Flamingos and sunshine. <laughs> It's like, all right, I'm good. There's no humans around here. The cat's like, what? wait a minute, what world is this? That was an incredible effort on his part. That was. The, the, part, I suppose. the cat deserves some, <laughs> some scale the wall downtime here. All right. We'll keep an eye on the cat. Just waiting for a, a stray cat to depart the playing area. No hurry. A quick look around and it might be Joel Robles' duty to uh, remove. <laughs> Count scampers. Tony LaRusso is nodding in approval. <laughs> remember, here got a member of the grounds crew coming out there to hopefully pick up the cat. But remember that incident in Seattle where the guy got the cat and then it bit him or scratched him and he's. That may happen here too. There it is. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Stop it! Oh, yeah. He didn't like that. Uh oh. Ah. Uh oh. <laughs> the 
Look at those claws that are out. 